Hi everybody, welcome back to Rose Modeling with the Art of Lisa. I'm Lisa. I hope you're all doing well out there. All right, this week I'm going to do some uh, Christmas ornaments because that's what you do in April, Christmas ornaments. But anyway, I thought it'd be kind of fun to take some of those basic brush strokes I've done before uh, and apply them to these lovely little ornaments here. So I'll kind of walk you through them. All right, let's get to it. Let me bring you down to the work table. All right, so set you guys all up here. I hope you're all doing well there, out there. So what I have today is I have these lovely little wooden ornaments, just very simple, that I have painted in the past. And they are painted in, one's painted in Napenthal Red Light, the red. And the blue is done in Galaxy Blue. I love Galaxy Blue. Um, just great colors by Joe Sonia. Um, what I'm going to show you first, though, is, I don't know if you can see, but this has been antiqued. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to walk you through the antiquing really fast. All right, so I have my lovely ornament all set to go. Just very simple, nice bright red. Sometimes it's fun to add a little detail to it. So I have my little applesauce cup here that I've held on to. <coughs> Inside of it, I'm going to take a little burnt umber. Just a little bit. Not much because a little goes a very long way. I'm going to add some retarder fluid to it. I'm just going to mix that up really quickly. The retarder fluid will make it so it doesn't dry super fast. Again, I don't need very much. All right, so I've got that all set and ready to go. I'm just going to take a nice big brush here. I'm going to dip it in. I'm going to apply my paint onto my ornament here. And cross it around here. Now you're probably going, oh, well that doesn't look nice. All right, so I've got that ready. Now we gotta play with it. So first, nope, that's water. Okay, first I'm going to spray it with rubbing alcohol. And watch what it does. Isn't that fun? It kind of separates it. Let's see if I can get it so you're not getting in the glare. All right. So that plays with that. Then what I do is I take a sheet of plastic wrap, I lay it on top, and I just push it on. Okay. Then, let's see, let me see if I can pull you a little closer here. All right, so play around with that. Just keep moving it. This starts taking some of the paint off of it. Okay, and I just keep playing. And then you can just keep working with it until you get whatever effect you like. And then usually what I'll do is I'll take a paper towel, lint-free one, pat it down just very gently. And now I have a antiqued Christmas ornament ready to go. Now before I paint this, I want to let it dry. And then I'm going to apply a coat of clear glaze on it just to seal it in and it will be ready to paint in a day. All right, so let's get going here. So first of all, in these little ornaments that I've done, these are basically just using, oh, by the way, this brush right now needs to go in my water. Make sure you don't leave any of your acrylic paint sitting out. All right, so these are done with these basic brush strokes that I have shown you guys in the past and anybody who's been here for a while You've seen these. So, I'm going to just take out a little practice board here. Let's do it in this blue. Now this is literally just, well, you can see it's fruit roll-ups. I take these and I recycle them. And I cut them apart and I base coat them so I can use them as prep papers. I mean, Oreos, hello. I did one with an Apathol Red and I did one with a Galaxy Blue. So I have my Joe Sonia number four short touch, 1350 round. 
And I'm going to go into, well, first take a little medium. Here's a recycle thing again. I use the top of a uh, water bottle. Add a little in there. Okay, I'm just going to put it with my wet palette here off to the side if you guys can see that. All right, so it's kind of fun just to take my brush. Just remember that everything is based on C strokes and S strokes. So my C strokes, I'm going to push my brush down. I'm going to pull it around and pull it up. I'm using a pale gold because it just looks so pretty on this galaxy blue. And I'm going to pull it up. I can practice going the other direction nice and thin. Remember that airplane coming down for a landing. I push, 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 do a little turn and let it pull up. I can do that again. Push, 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 push. That airplane's down. Do a little turn. And come in. I always pull my brush towards me. So let me do a little sister stroke, a little sister C stroke in there. And pull it around. So this pale gold, I can also dip a little into warm white. I didn't take any gold out of my brush. And just kind of pull it around. Remember we do S strokes too, so that S stroke can come off the back of this. A little of that white. And pull it around. Alright, so after that little review, let's take our nice little ornament here and let's paint one up. Alright, so I hope all is going well in your home. Ours is <laughs> holding steady. We're all getting a little slap happy, but that's okay. Let's see, I kind of like, well, let me just put a little sepal in the center. Yeah, everybody's getting a little slap happy, but they're holding steady. Our prayers are with all of our first responders, all of our people on the front line. I want to thank all my friends that I know and all my friends that I don't know that are out there every day, working in hospitals, <laughs> out in the supermarkets, you know, our truckers, all those wonderful people that are out there. Thank you so much for all you do. All right. So as you can see, I'm literally just doing my little C's. And then I'm pulling it around and doing an S. And I'm just making a flower. I'm trying to keep it centered. Now I'm going to pull this one up from the top here. Just pull it down, add a little more, and I'm using that nice pale gold and just some warm white. Every little thing you add just gives a nice little, zhush, little bud coming off the end here. Remember, rose modeling is based on flowers. You know, the kind of fantasy flowers, but they're definitely based on flowers. So I want to make sure that everything comes from the sepal, from the center there. Let's see, pull a little this way. Okay. I had meant to do my video yesterday and the day just kind of got away from me. Partially because I am finally uploading pattern packets to my Art of Lisa Creations Etsy site. Slowly but surely, they are getting on there. Hopefully I'll have more. Maybe I'll even get these guys up there in the next week or two. All right, so that's pretty, right? Okay, let's put that guy aside for a little bit, just for a moment. And I can use the same color combination. And this isn't the same one that I just did, but it was one that I prepped already. I can do the same color combination on this here. But maybe this time I'll put my little sepal on the bottom and let's do a nice C stroke right down to it. This is again, I'm just having fun playing with my paint. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You have to remember it is just paint. Give it a try. You know, 
what's the worst thing that can happen? You wipe it away, you start over again, you hold on to it and you look back and you say, oh, look how far I've come. You know, give it a try. I had somebody, a lovely friend of mine from across the pond, send me a picture today of her first piece that she really dove in and free-handed and she did such an awesome job on it. Okay, let's pull this around. Sometimes you just have to give it a try. You know, we're always so afraid to try new things and we're not made to be afraid. We're made to just try it. What's the worst thing that can happen? You know, nowadays everybody's so afraid to make a mistake, but isn't mistakes how you learn? If you don't give it a try, if you don't go out there and put the effort to make mistakes, you can't make strides and move on and try new things. I'm giving myself my own power talk here. You know, I've been nervous about putting on putting on my uh, pattern packets and I want to do a good job. And then you just have to bite the bullet. Just do it. I think, I think, if I remember correctly, I think it says in the Bible 365 times, do not be afraid. Or some form of that. I could be wrong, but I believe so. All right. See, now look how pretty that is. Now I've got two of these already kind of set up and ready to go. I'm really quite happy with them. All right. So do I go for a third? Let's see. Or do we detail them? Why don't we detail these? All right. So once again, I always hold my brush aside. If remember acrylic paint, I'm not going to wash it out. I'm going to put it inside my wet paper towel that's inside my plastic wrap. I'm going to put that over here, put it over to the side, and then I'm going to pull out my detail brush. And I am using a 10 0 Original Gold King Art 9375 mid length liner. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'm going to dip a little bit into my medium here. I'm going to go into my warm white. Well, actually, I already got this one ready. I put some medium in it. And because I'm using gold on these, I'm going to dip a little into that gold just to give a little highlight. Let me go back to this blue one first. All right, here we go. That's pretty. Remember, detail, so many people call detailing outlining, and I don't really like to call it outlining because I'm not truly outlining everything. I'm giving it detail. Sometimes I'm going outside of the lines. Sometimes I'm making new flowers with my detail. Okay, let's see. There we go. All right, let's come around this way. It just adds, adds to it. Everything, every little thing you do just gives a nice touch to it. You want to have some thicker lines. You want to have some thinner lines. If they're all the same, they are going to look stripey and you don't want it to look stripy, but when you give the variety in the lines, it looks interesting. You know, some of you know I like to do this little chocolate chip thing, a line across and just a little line coming up. Just something I learned years ago. I can't even remember which class I learned it in. And you know, that's the other thing. You always learn from every class you go into. You might just learn one little stroke doesn't matter how experienced you are. If you learn one little thing from everything you do, that's a whole lot of learning in life. All right, let's come around this way. There we go. Just fun. Now I'll try to do the same, not exact, but as close as I can on the back of these. Um, I do put years on them. 
but not on all of them. And usually I just put the year on uh, when it's a special order. I do a lot of them with uh, baby names, baby's first Christmas, you know, stuff like that. There's just so much you can do with it and it makes a great gift. Okay. These, I think I purchased these ornaments on Amazon. Just simple wooden ornaments. But there's a lot of great artisans out there that will make stuff. Like I said, I do a lot on glass. I'll save that for another day. And then we can, okay, that's looking pretty good. And then we can do this. We can do like a little rope that goes around the edge. Remember, I have to keep turning it so that I'm pulling it towards me. Add a little more paint to it. Okay. Just keep pulling. Keep pulling. All right. So this style with this very free flowing is the Telemark style of rose modeling. It's an asymmetrical free flowing style. Now Norway is very interesting with its rose modeling. It's Norwegian traditional folk art painting in that there are minimum of 15 styles. There's more than that. But uh, Norway being so mountainous that you'd in fact believe only 3% of the land is tillable in Norway. That you had your different regions with different dialects, different national dress, you had different um, customs. So when it went into these different areas, it naturally came about different styles, all based on C strokes and S strokes, but just a wide variety. That's what makes rose modeling so much fun. There's just so much to learn. All right, let's see. This little guy needs a little something here. So I did have a request that I'm going to do it um, to for suggestions for rose modeling books. And I'm going to do a little video um, over the weekend for next week for uh, books that I have in my collection and what would be a great book to help or books to help you guys along to learn. Um, I am also developing a beginner's packet of strokes and uh, just practice stuff so hopefully I'll have that out soon also okay all right it's funny with all this time at home you think I would be down here all the time and I wish I could say I was getting so much painting done I'm really not but you know the time with family has been a real blessing uh, this time I'm having with my husband and our kids is time we would never have gotten as they get older so we feel very blessed um, to be able to be with them and uh, I, I truly hope that all of you out there are uh, staying in communication with family you know keeping yourselves busy um, you know just being and uh, we will get through this so all right let's come around this way all right let's do some maybe a little cross hatching so same color palette different backgrounds but isn't it kind of cool to see that you can get such a great effect with this same palette and just a different feel of the color behind it. All right, let's finish this up for today. I'm gonna pull a nice detail line there. Do a few more this way. All right, if you guys are new to the channel, I hope you've enjoyed your time here in my studio and perhaps you'll take a chance to subscribe if you've been here before, thank you as always for, for spending some time with me. 
Uh, thank you for your comments and your ideas. I truly hope you guys have enjoyed your time. Please remember that this is just paint. Don't be afraid of it. Try something new. You know, maybe it's crocheting, maybe it's knitting, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, you know, running. I can't tell you. Oh, and there goes the phone. So anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed your time here with us. And I hope you have a blessed and faithful day. Don't mind my phone in the background. Take care, and remember, it's just paint.